Hey guys, it's DJ from the server. Back with another video. It's because I am very bored. And please ignore the music in the background. Like, because my family are having a party downstairs. Anyway, since it is still locked down and we are all being quarantined, we're still coming back to school. We're still coming back to school. Even though I am literally writing right now the final chapter to 16 Days Left to Live, my horror novel, which I've been working on for the past three lockdowns. Well, there's basically three short lockdowns, and basically starting on Christmas, lockdown in 20 went all through January, took a few bit breaks, kind of, and it went through February, March, which is right now, and maybe, well, it definitely would be probably finished by Easter, but, well, when it is finished, I'm going to bring it into school. I'm sure my teachers all the right now but doing all the lockdown because I was bored and I had no internet for the past couple of months. Dean had no fucking internet. And what was Dean basically doing? He was asking for hotspot because he had, well he had a hotspot only for a small while. Even though he mainly had to ask for hotspot from like you know, like I had to basically ask for a hot spot around the house because there was no internet and my teacher said we should do online homework and do studying during the midterm and I'm just like, nah, I'm going to be spending my whole midterm writing a book. Even though that's basically why I pretty much started writing 16 days left to live, which is basically currently about 32 chapters even though it was originally meant to be 31 chapters like that's because most of them were like really short chapters but but then they kind of developed into very very long chapters like one chapter was about like 19 short paragraphs long and then the last chapter, which is called The Final Few Minutes, is basically, you know, probably going to be more than that, and maybe I might add a few, like, you know, illustrations of how my characters were designed. Like, you could have, like, maybe, it could be, like, on the first page, it would be Dean, and then. Well, it would be kind of like the first two pages would be like D normally and like without any blood gore and all that kind of disgusting stuff. And then it would be like, you know, on the next page it would be Dean covered in s gunks, loads of blood. He'd be smothered in the blood. And then on the next page you'd have like my two other characters I've been using, which are basically Alfie and Stanley, even though I didn't give them surnames in this book, because I don't want my readers knowing, like, in the book, that, like, like, Dean doesn't know these in, 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 this, in this story. See, I've kind of, like, switched up how they, like, you know, interact with each other. See, in this story, Dean has no clue who Alfie and Stanley are because I basically switched up their character roles. Like, you'd usually have Stanley being Dean's friend and you'd have Alfie being Dean's brother. But this story, they pretty much don't know each other because, you know, it's not just because, like, you know, 
Dean doesn't really recognize them because Dean hasn't really met them before in the story because they're different in the story. And then in like um, my like uh, well, and then basically. And basically on the other page of my illustration you could have like, you know, Alfie and Stanley normally and then you could have them as weird, freaky, monster things that I might even have nightmares after drawing because, um, they're basically my creations. I basically created them fucking monster things out of my brain. I blame the movie Frankenstein I watched over the, over the midterm and I basically like read the book and man, it's just too good. It's like kinda like you know, we're like some mad scientist like basically finds his body parts and tries to stick them back together. And then this monster basically breaks free and goes into the modern world, which is basically the real world. And he has no clue what these things are. And like, you know, the story is basically like my own version, like how probably my life was going, combined with Frankenstein. Like it's basically the fr like the whole story of Frankenstein, but with my characters and like my world. Or whatever the freak you want to call it. Even though my friends keep complaining because I spend more of my time in Fearlessville than I do in the real world. It's not my fault that I've been stuck in lockdown for all for about a year. Although the six month lockdown there was absolutely nothing. There was no school, there was no there was no shops open, there was no well the only shops that were open were supermarkets. Like and Even though, like, even though when this horror story is finished, 16 days left to live, I don't know what to do for the rest of the lockdown. Even though I was thinking of maybe, like, maybe another novel, but I don't think it would be horror, I think it might be, you know, adventure kind of. Because I wrote, loads, well, I wrote about four or five of them, and I wrote, like, way more horror stories, I wrote like, like loads of them called, well, the first few, like they were short stories, because that's basically what I started off with, and then I just kind of came up with just, you know, for the whole entire half the year, writing the novel 16 Days Left to Live, and please don't ask me why it's called 16 Days Left to Live, it is because I was writing it after my 16th birthday, which was in December. And like, you know, you see, like, even though I had to wait till second year to create the Fearless. Like, my teacher kept roaring at me because of my art style. It's not my fault that most of my characters look like the YouTuber Dan TDM. And it's not my fault that, well, to be honest, I can only draw two hairstyles. I can only draw like, like the weird emo hair, like the hair in the mask that I designed. And some other style with just kind of like spiky hair, but it's not like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, going out and then it's going up. Like, I just that hairstyle for Alfie, while Stanley and Dean, they just basically have the same hair color, but Dean's hair color is light brown and... Stanley's hair colour is blonde. You know. Cause look, I'll show you. Cause you see guys, here's a drawing that I did. Well, it's a summer themed drawing, it's not a horror one. As you can see, Dean has brown hair. To be honest, it's hard to point on this. And then, as you can see, Stanley Fang, who has a cup of orange, enjoying the sun. He has blonde hair. 
even though they both have the same hairstyle. And those fangs that Stanley has in his mouth, they're basically fake fangs. Because he's basically another character who's basically obsessed with the vampires. He adores them. So he pretty much wears fake fangs all the time and that's why he, and when basically he loses them, Dean calls him a fangless terror. Kind of like what my family call me. So now you know what them two characters look like. You kind of know the difference between them. One's a boy with fake fangs and one's a boy who basically look the same just without the fangs. And basically Alfie is basically like, like the short, well the youngest character I created. He's like eight and Alfie and Dan, Sandy's 11, he's the oldest, and Dean is the, well Dean is the first character I created, but he's 9 years old. And this may confuse you, now, my character Count Daniela, he's, he's basically 12 years old, but he doesn't age as in like, you know, you'd have one year he'd be 12, the next year he'd be 13. This vampire, like this boy he basically like he ages every century because vampires if you read all them stories and stuff you will know vampires age every century and like that's why pretty much Cassandra is pretty much the oldest And like, basically, I have about five characters, but I didn't bother using the other one anymore, which is called Danny Moyes. I didn't bother even using him anymore. I just mainly focused on on Dean Fairless, Alfie Fairless, Stanley Fang, and Kang. They're, the, they're the four main characters I focus on, but I mainly just use nowadays is Dean, Alfie and Stanley. They're the main three I use. Like, even though, even though like Alfie's the youngest character I created. Even though I mainly created him recently, I just created him in third year. Like near the start of third year. And then Dean was made in second year. And then Alfie was made, no, eh. Dan Lee was made during the first lockdown, which was basically six months ago, or maybe was that nine, I don't know. Even though it took my mother nine months to know who the fuck Dean Fellows was. Like after nine months, my mother was just like, oh really, is he your character? And I'm just like, yes, Dean is my character. He's basically also known as my child, my fictional child. All my characters are known as my children. Even though, you know. I basically call them my children. Because I basically made them. I created them. So yeah, guys. Bye. I will see you next time for the next video. Bye.